Hello everyone, in this presentation, we are going to understand how to control 16 LEDs. That means how to control 16 devices with the help of touchscreen mechanism by using DWIN display. Here if you see in this DWIN screen, so there are 16 LEDs which are shown here in two rows and the status of the 16 LEDs are available in the screen as we see here. The first row you can able to see there are 8 offs, in the second row you are able to see there are 8 offs which is nothing but the status of all the 8 LEDs which is available. Say for example if I want to switch on the first LED, if I touch here, so the status if you see here in this touch screen you are able to see the status is on and it is notifying by glowing that LED and if you observe carefully in the hardware you are able to see that one LED is glowing. This hardware you are able to see the first LED is glowing. And I am switching on the second LED by pressing this button, the second LED which is the green LED is glowing as we see here. And then I am pressing the third LED, so third LED is glowing as we see here. So fourth LED, fifth LED, sixth LED, seventh LED, eighth LED. So in the first row all the eight LEDs are glowing, the status is this. But actually in the hardware we are able to see eight LEDs are glowing. So I can switch on all the eight LEDs and I can switch off all the eight LEDs by pressing the global switch here. So global switch is here to switch on all the eight LEDs together. I can able to see in the hardware all the eight LEDs are on. I can switch off all the eight LEDs by pressing the global switch. This is another option. Similarly for the second row, I can switch on the eight LEDs by pressing here and I can switch off the eight LEDs in the second row by pressing here. So switching on the second row LEDs here and then it is getting displayed here and switching off the second row LEDs here by pressing here. So first row all, uh, first row, all LEDs are on, second row all LEDs are on. So totally 8 LEDs are on the first row, 8 LEDs are on the second row, 8 LEDs global switch off in the first row, global switch off in the second row. So individual on off can also be done here. So you have to observe here. So the first row all the 8 LEDs are glowing, the status is here and you are able to see the status here in the form of display is also available here on 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 on. The second row 8 LEDs are off, you are able to see the status here all the 8 LEDs are off. So if I am switching on the second row LEDs also means you are able to see LEDs also glowing, the symbol is also there and the text notification is also there in the hardware also it is working. So 16 input output devices can be controlled independently or it can be controlled globally in two different methods with the help of touch screen which will help us to control the 16 appliances as per our convenience as an individuals or as a group. So this is the experiment that we have done here. So how this works? Let us understand. So DWIN display is sending out the serial data to the uh, microcontroller. So the controller what here we are using here is node MCU. This node MCU receives the data from the DWIN display. So after receiving the data, we are connecting the two PCF8574 module. What is PCF8574? It is a I square C to parallel data converter module. So this is PCF8574 one module which receives the data and converts into 8 parallel data. So for 8 parallel data we are connecting 8 LEDs. So there is second PCF8574 which converts the second serial data into 8 parallel data. So as we see here. So two PCF8574 receives the data and then it receives the data in I square C format and sends out the data in the parallel format. So PCF8574 is an IO expander where the input output is expanded to 16 GPIOs with the help of 2 GPIO from the node MCU as we see here. So even display is transmitting the signal that is received by the uh, node MCU in a uh, serial communication format. After receiving the data, the data is converted into I2C format. That I2C data is transmitted to the PCF8574 and then this PCF8574 is a hardware module which converts uh, I2C data into 8 bit parallel data. So here if you are able to see the serial data that is UR data is coming from the DWIN display to the node MCU. That UR data is converted to I2C data here. That I2C data is converted into parallel data with the help of PCF8574. So UR serial communication, then I2C serial communication, then I2C to parallel serial communication. So three protocols are being used. UR serial communication, I2C serial communication and then parallel. So this PCF8574 converts I2C to parallel and node MCU converts your data to I2C data. That is what the magic which is happening here in this application. So let us see the circuit diagram here. So this is the circuit diagram which is uh, shown here. So if you are able to see this is the node MCU and this is PCF85741 and this is the PCF85742. So both are connected to the node MCU through I2C uh, bus topology. So one is SDA line and another one is SEL line. So the SDA line and SEL line is connected to SDA line and SEL line of the two PCF85741 which receives the data through I2C format. So the device ID is 
20 and the device id is 21 so when you address 20 means this will acknowledge and it will receive the byte and then sends out the data to the 8 leds so when it is 21 means this will receive it and then sends out the data to this 8 leds so so there are 16 leds which are connected so which is shown here 8 LEDs to PCF 85741, another 8 LEDs to PCF 85742, and the program is written for the Node MCU. So, let us see the code, which will be very interesting for us. It's very simple. And uh, here, if you see, so if you see the code, so wire.h is i square c header file, wire.h is an i square c header file as we see here, and uh, the software serial. Software serial means uh, there are two serial ports. One serial port uses on board or on chip serial port, another uses software serial port as we see here so there are uh, buffer of 9 bytes are being used and we are initializing the PCF8574 address as 20 for one PCF874 and 21 for another PCF8574 as you see here and then for software serial port we are initializing the uh, D4 of the node MCO2 as an RXD pin D3 as a TXD pin and then here we are using the software serial syntax of my serial rx pin and tx pin that is making the d3 and g4 d3 and d4 of the node mcu as uh, serial software serial port so this is the syntax for that and here we are initializing the software serial port and hardware serial port as we see here serial begin is for software serial port and my serial begin is again for serial port so wire begin means i square c is initialized so in the loop what we are doing here is it's very simple as usual so we are uh, waiting for the serial data where the serial data will come serial data is coming from the touch screen so whenever we touch it will transmit the serial data so you're waiting for the serial data so always touch screen will send the 8 bytes as we know always touch screen will send the 8 bytes out of which the fourth byte to 8 bytes are the valid data as we know very well so we are waiting for the byte node mcu is waiting for the byte so that is what the syntax when the byte comes means we are putting it into the buffer so all the 8 bytes are received sequentially and then we are keeping the 8 bytes into the buffer and then to ensure that the data is coming from the DWIN display. The serial data is coming from the display means the first byte of the DWIN display should be 5A to notify that it is from the display. So we are checking for the 8 bit buffer, the first byte of buffer of 0 equal to 5A. If it is 5A means that justifies the data is coming from the DWIN screen display. If so, then we are uh, taking the 8th byte. So buffer of 8 means we are taking the 8th byte, that means the 8th byte and then 8th byte is kept into the LED status. And then we are taking the 4th byte. So the buffer of 4th byte, that is buffer 0 to buffer 4 means 5th byte. So the 5th byte, if it is 10 means, that justifies uh, PCF85741. PCF85741. So if so, we are uh, sending the data. That is, we are sending the data, PCF85741. We are sending the data to the PCF85741 to make the corresponding LEDs to glow. That is something like this. Write begin transmit address. So write begin transmission PCF8574 address means here the address is 20 is being transmitted after transmitting 20 and uh, we are writing, we are writing the value 000, the first value and then uh, we are writing the byte, we are writing the byte, received byte as LED status array. This is the syntax and the size of that means size of the LED status array is 8 bit that is 1 byte. So LED status array is 1 byte and uh, wire write means the one uh, 8 bits is being shifted out through i square c format to uh, 0x uh, 20 addressed uh, PCF8574. So the i square c address is 0x20 as we know very well. So we, the case 10 is the first PCF8574 as we see here. And similarly, if, uh, if it is not case 10 means, again we are going for case 20. The fourth byte is case 20 means the same thing is repeated for the uh, PCF8574 2. Say for example, here PCF85742, you can see the address of 2. Here you can see the address of 2 is there. PCF85742, the address is 2. And then if it is 2 means the second byte is being transmitted from the node MCU to the um, PCF85742 to display the data as we see here. So this is the coding for that. And uh, after the code is downloaded to the uh, node MCU, node MCU is continuously waiting for the serial data from the touch screen. And the touch screen will transmit the serial data. It receives and sends it to the PCF8574 and PCF8574 receives it and sends it to the corresponding 8 LEDs. So 16 LEDs can be controlled, meaning 16 devices can be controlled with the help of this touch screen display as we see here. Finally, as you see here, so 8 LEDs on in the first row, another 8 LEDs on in the second row. This is the uh, group switching on and switching off. So group off and group off in the second row. Individual on off means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 16 LEDs are 16 devices are on. And then switching on, switching off the 16 devices means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. In the first row I have switched off. 
and then second row 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so the convenience in the touch screen is individual switch on off on off can be done or global switch on off can be done the status can be monitored graphically as well as the text which is very user friendly for controlling any appliances that is being experimented and demonstrated here thank you